Windows stuff, this hidden feature. Oh, it's yes. It's kind of cool. This was uh, your story. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, well, this actually, you could speak on this a bit as well yeah, because um, we've, we've this is about super resolution. Yeah, we've talked about the LSS and FSR multiple times, mm. which have been like game changers for PC gaming, right? It's um, you get performance and you either take a very small hit to image fidelity or a un one that you don't notice or it actually looks better or the same or equivalent. And it's all based on using a technique to take a lower resolution image and then upscale it. So basically like upscaling is around forever, but we're now at a point now where upscaling is um, a part of gaming really. <laughs> and yeah, so this is like a new Windows feature coming. Yeah, seemingly Windows as well. Um, yeah, so I stumbled across this um, and I don't want to toot my own trumpet, but uh, this was reported by me way before most other um, publications. So uh, I found this on twitter and mm. i mean through video cards video cards is just so hot with it shout out video cards um and it's a part of the uh 24h2 update that's pegged to be released i think it's sometime later yeah, this year half. Yeah. yeah which which was going to be windows 12 but might not be just might be just like a super version of windows 11 whatever yeah. the case is <clears throat> this is like another like big feature that it's going to bring to the table yes so within people that are running the beta of this um coming update they mm. um trudged through some of the display settings and stumbled across a super resolution option now i just want to read this um mm. so under display and graphics you have automatic super resolution and then windows writes use ai yeah. to make supported games play more smoothly with enhanced details um this then you oh, go on sorry sorry i was like yeah like it's a pretty big thing for windows or microsoft to do right to add ai based because like the next big update of windows is all ai related and they've just oh, worked sure. out a way to add in basically their version of DLSS or Intel's XCSS into Windows. Which is incredible. And we'll get into how that benefits um, users after we, you know, get through all this. So we also got um, under display correction, we've got optimizations for window games. So we got reduced latency and advanced features in compatible games using flip presentation model. I don't know what that is. Mm. Do you have any idea what that is? No. So like, because one of the issues with upscaling or doing it at like the system level is having direct access to what's um, coming down the GPU pipe in terms of like rendering, right? So, yeah. um, you know, anti-aliasing, which was brought into the scene many years ago in gaming, um, TAA or temporal anti-aliasing mm. was... Is kind of like the most common one now, which basically it means that it looks at the frame ahead, the frame before, the current frame, and then interpolates and whatever the case is. Yep. And that's the way DLSS works or FSR or Intel XCSS is when they're actually in the game, they have access to that temporal information, which means basically time-based. So you got like past, present, and future, but just like in, in terms of like three frames to work with. Um, so when you're doing it at the system level like this, like I don't know, um, you know, if it's AI based, if it's just going to be taking the current frame and upscale it, mm. that means that you're not, you don't have as much data as DLSS or XCSS or like, you know, when it's actually like in the game settings, we go like settings, right. graphics, DLSS, turn it on, quality mode, yes, apply, bang. So that's in the game, it's in the code. So it's actually using temporal data or that temporal data in the game to to work and that's always the, going to be the best version of it um but at this level at this sort of level like you could yeah like it's kind of like what amd does at the driver base or even nvidia does as well has nvidia image scaling but these are those are non-ai based so this mm. being ai based it's going to be interesting because um it could be it could mix things up like it could be like oh hey guess what the windows version actually looks really good um, yeah. it works in every game you just go to your display settings and you go turn it on and, and and it works um and to just to add to that 
um, if you go to the next image that's on this tweet, uh, you can actually add super resolution to specific applications. So it doesn't have to be yeah. system wide. You can go to your camera, um, go down to your GPU preference, turn it on automatic, uh, super, um, automatic super resolution is an option, um, with a quotation yep. using auto SR with this app might cause unexpected results. I think that is a bit of, um, I mean, this is all beta stuff, what, what we're looking yep. at. So I think that's just a bit of a warning. Um, and then you got more optimization. So I think that's pretty cool where you can go through individual apps. Now we should talk about how this is actually going to affect users or benefit users. So I didn't, I couldn't think of how, like, why would I want super resolution in windows? I don't understand like what I want my file explorer to look better. Sure. Okay. I can see that. Video cards had some great points here. Um, they said, having, a, having the option to enable resolution at a driver level means games that don't have the inbuilt resolution upscaling That's technology right. would now have something to bump up those pixels. So that is your retro games. That is your old games. That's, I think, right? Yeah, but yeah, exactly. But it could also... Yeah, because like most games now are kind of like big ones ship with DLSS and FSR and things like that. Yeah, exactly. That's given, yeah. You almost expect it now. But um, but it could also be like, in a, like a secondary measure that, you know, like they could embed into the PC Xbox app, you know, with like Game Pass. Right, it's like okay. You just set it globally. It's so like every game you run, it enables it. Um, it could lead to better handheld performance. Like there's like tablet performance, lap mobile performance, because I think like like w we're thinking of this as like a traditional desktop thing mm. is probably the, the wrong angle of like where you will see the most benefit because like on the desktop, right, you, I mean, you've got your big GPU, you've got you, like, there's less of a need for this sort of thing when you've got all the hardware, right? Mm -hmm. But if you've got like an AI, you know, this is going to be the year, and if this is launching second half of the year, like every single notebook is going to have an NPU in it which yeah. is the, the CPU is going to have a um, neural processor, which this is going to tap into if you don't have a GPU. If it doesn't, you know, if it's just like a laptop without a GPU or it's a laptop with a GPU, then this will work either way. Mm. And and this will be able to then boost performance in apps as well as games. Yeah. So, um, for example, you could, um, then, you know, like all video stuff or content creation stuff can run at a lower resolution, but you're, um, it's upscaling for a higher resolution. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, I think that was my other point that I put in the article again from video cards. Um, the other advantage of super resolution at a windows level is removing the reliance on special applications that support technologies uh, that support technologies such as RTX video super resolution or fidelity fidelity FX super resolution. Yes. Yep. So you can yeah. now go into, say, I don't know, your media player, for example, and enable super resolution within your media player to play videos that are in super resolution. That's why NVIDIA like has that option. So like in VLC and um, YouTube put like browsers, like Chrome based, mm. like it's RTX video super resolution, where it's basically DLSS for videos. Yeah. Um, and it's designed for like, to also resolve like, compression artifacts and things like that and AMD is launching their version so this will be for that as well so this will be also for um, you know YouTube right you're yeah. just going to be watching a 720p video because you're on mobile data or whatever like you're not like then like it, the expectation isn't that you're going to be using watching full 4k videos on YouTube all yeah. the time they may not even half the videos at 720p anyway um and then taking that and then upscaling it to your 1440p AI laptop display. So yeah. then, like, because you can see the option there is like use the resolution of this d display, which will basically mean that like any video signal, and because it's like it uses in a window as well, it'll be able to upscale what it sees in that window, which would be browsers, like, you know, videos and YouTube and stuff like that. Mm. So it's it isn't, isn't necessarily like them saying, hey, DLSS or whatever is. FSR is now obsolete because those are gaming first technologies. This is more, um, more evergreen. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is. Points. I think this is a very interesting thing for mm. Windows to do. Oh, definitely, and also points to the fact that AI upscaling is the future. Like using leveraging MPUs and GPUs and CPUs to do it mm. um, is the way to go. 